Hey guys welcome back to my channel yes i'm going to be so consistent this week because last week was okay yes so today i'm going to give you some substitutes for some ordinary products that i have been using and some ordinary products that i think a lot of people would like to try other brands but they are not really sure what to try okay so i'm going to give you some products that are within the same price price range like some of these products that i'm going to recommend maybe one product is not it's not the same price as you know what is advertised uh what the, uh, what the ordinary um market it's not like the same similar prices but they can be a substitute if you know what i say like the product itself all right but i'm going to share with you some products that are affordable and you can substitute or you can use these if for example you go on the ordinary's website and they don't have it okay right so we're gonna start first with my favorite the glycolic acid toner the seven percent glycolic acid toner so if you are if you love uh, exfoliating acids and for some reason you can't really use the glycolic acid toner or you cannot find it on the website or you can't find it anywhere okay main i think the main reason why not some someone would want something that works like the, the ordinary is glycolic acid toner but does not want seven percent glycolic acid toner i would recommend the inky list pha toner and this is a very mild mild exfoliating acid also it is very very gentle on the skin yes so the ph toner is very very gentle on the skin so you don't have to worry if you want to exfoliate and you don't want the irritations that you would get from the seven percent glycolic acid try the pha toner all right and if you want a little bit something with a like not so what what should i say now it the, the molecular size of this particular acid is not as small as the or large as the pha toner you want something just a little bit um smaller that or a little bit what should i say you want something that works a little bit a little teeny bit more you know faster i would say I would recommend the Wish Trends Mandelic Acid Toner. Why would I recommend the Mandelic Acid Toner if it's if it's toner that you want? I would recommend this because it is going to be gentler on the skin, but it will work. And I think this Mandelic Acid is 8%. I think I have this one Mandelic Acid coming soon. This one is 8% I think I don't quite remember let me just put it on screen but this mandelic acid will help you with your exfoliating so if you want to exfoliate and you don't want anything too crazy on your skin you just want to exfoliate at a good rate as a you know very mild but exfoliate because I'm telling you this is potent even though it is mandelic acid it's still potent but it's just going to be gentle on gentler on your skin all right so if you want a substitute but you don't want pha toner because maybe you don't think it does anything for your skin then you can try the mandelic acid toner if the glycolic acid toner like doesn't work and i'm not sure if any other company has or any ha other um brand or manufacturer have a mandelic acid toner okay i've never seen a mandelic acid toner from any other brand so i think wish trend is the only one that actually that i know about that sells mandelic acid at this percent and just you know everything that this toner is all about so i would recommend the wish trends mandelic acid so if you can if you if you so if you can manage like i like acid try the mandelic acid toner from wish trends and if you can manage the mandelic acid toner from wish trends try the inkalish the ink the inkalish the inkalish 
uh, PHA toner so these are some substitutes for you whether you can't get them in stock or you can't get them like over the counter over the counter or you can't get them um, because they're sold out or you just can't get them because of where you're located you can actually try these these can work for you okay good so those are for toner the glycolic acid toner because i'm using that but other people would like i can't get this toner because it's out of stock and all of that out of stock and all of that so yes now when it comes to like niacinamide now sometimes niacinamide serum is also out of stock because everybody loves niacinamide apparently apparently it helps their skin i love it too but i have a lot of niacinamide in my little you know skincare collection so you can go in with niacinamide from the inky list it's basically the same thing as the ordinary niacinamide some people will say that the inky list niacinamide is less irritating on the skin as opposed to the like the um the ordinary niacinamide i'm not sure if that's true or whatever but i haven't used it but others have and the inky list actually has niacinamide so you can also try that niacinamide if you want to try niacinamide but you can never get the um the ordinary niacinamide or it's not available in your country or whatever the problem is you can try the inkylis niacinamide don't feel like you're stuck to the ordinary especially now that they have been sold to another company or maybe part part of the ownership is gone to another company and so forth different management and so forth doesn't mean that the product is going to be like less effective and all of that but you know sometimes other brands or other companies come and take over and they don't adapt the same um philosophy and attitude and culture as the company before so yeah yeah so that's what i'm trying to do now i'm not trying to limit myself to only one skincare brand so if they tumble down or something bad happens i'm going to be like like a a chicken with no head you know what i'm saying so this is the reason why i really want to recommend like substitutes just in case anything goes wrong that not that I, I think that anything will go wrong you know what i'm saying but just recommendations and they're on the affordable side all right so i would also recommend because niacinamide helps with inflammation niacinamide helps helps with um sebum it helps to calm the skin and so forth it also helps with hyperpigmentation but i would recommend the centella unscented recovery cream from purito centella unscented recovery um serum from purito because it has 49 percent centella asiatica centella asiatica is a wound healing ingredient i think i've been saying this for like the longest while now because i am all about centella because i like it on my skin yes so centella asiatica can be a substitute for niacinamide and i think this product also has niacinamide in it so you're getting a a lot of product especially if you at a 60 the six it comes in 60 ml and it's very affordable i'll put the price on the screen it works like niacinamide you know but it has more than just niacinamide it has 49 percent of centella asiatica yes as i was saying i would recommend the centella asiatica unscented recovery cream from recovery serum from purito if you want a serum that is going to help you to control sebum that's going to calm your skin from like and protect it from inflammation work as an antioxidant and also to treat hyperpigmentation all right so this is going to help your skin if you really want that type of ingredient in there niacinamide that's what i'm talking about all right so that is for glycolic acid toner niacinamide and the next one is alpha arbutin i think i've spoken about uh, alpha arbutin so many times on my channel because it's actually one of my favorite ingredients because i struggle with hyperpigmentation okay good so alpha arbutin you can get the inky list alpha arbutin and some people might say that the inky list alpha arbutin works better than the inky list than the ordinary alpha arbutin i'm not sure how true that is but i can try it i can try it so right now i'm thinking maybe i'm not gonna buy the alpha arbutin from the ordinary again for the next time that i'm going to repurchase i'm going to repurchase one from the inky list to see what is the difference between both so i can actually like do a comparison eventually 
but not right now but if you want a substitute i would say go for the inky lace alpha arbutin and see how that works for you then another substitute i would use for the ordinaries um, alpha arbutin is tranexamic acid i think that tranexamic acid works in the same way that alpha arbutin works it helps to um, inhibit the production of melanin like on the skin it's the same way the same pace it's at a safe pace it, it doesn't work too fast to the point that your skin looks like has many colors or looks like looks hyper pigmented so you don't have to worry and it's like safe on your skin so i would recommend the tranexamic acid if you can't get the alpha arbutin or if you want to try something else from a different brand so the inky list has alpha arbutin and they also have tranexamic acid and guess what you can pair tranexamic acid with alpha arbutin so you're not losing it's a win-win situation all right then the next thing i would recommend for dark spots is the make prem dark spot serum why would i recommend this one in particular because i'm using it now and i am seeing where it is working mm -hmm. been using it since february and i'm seeing where it is working i'm going to continue use it i'm going to use it until it finish until i finish the bottle and then i'm going to come back to you and to share with you what i think about it but in this ingredient or on or what should i say this product has alpha arbit not alpha arbitin arbitin tranexamic acid niacinamide what else it has um what's that ingredient it has turmeric so it has a lot of brightening ingredients in one little bottle and it also has vitamin c you know what i'm saying so what if you are the person that doesn't like to buy a bunch of serums you don't want alpha arbutin you don't want to buy a tranexamic acid you don't want to buy um a, a turmeric soap you just want everything to be in one bottle i would recommend this on the basis that it is going to help you to treat your dark spots and it's not going to be irritating on your skin you're going to get vitamin c also and a vitamin c derivative so they're just going to work together in order to treat your dark spot if that's your problem the only thing with this one is it's a little bit on the it's a little bit more expensive i think mainly because it has all of these good ingredients in it and so forth but you can try it out if you want to really try something all right and then the next thing that i would uh i would like recommend like a substitute is the azelic acid 10 percent to be really and like to be really and truly honest i don't see any azelic acid that is being sold currently at the price point that the ordinary sell selling their 10 percent azelic acid all right because azelic acid is usually a prescribed um, medication so you would usually get it from a doctor you know what i'm saying but azelic acid has been on the market of re like have been on the like the market and is being sold at an affordable price and it is sold by the ordinary like there i don't think any other brand sells azelic acid 10 percent at the price point that the ordinary is selling theirs but i would also recommend uh the Paula's choice azelic acid i wouldn't recommend it because I've, I've i've used it before i would recommend it because of what others have have like you know have said so like persons who have used the um azelic acid um the or from the ordinary yeah persons that have used the, the azelic acid from the ordinary have said that the polish choice azelic acid the texture is a little bit better than the ordinary because some people have a problem with the azelic acid um 10 from the ordinary because of the silicone feeling so the next best recommendation is the polish choice azelic acid because it's more creamy and it absorbs a little bit better and it doesn't have that silicone texture okay but it's same 10 percent azelic acid if you don't have a problem with the texture of the ordinaries then you can try the azelic acid from the from polish choice but just note that polish choice azelic acid is a little bit more expensive so it's that maybe 20 us dollars more or 21 or 22 but it works the same way 
I'm not really sure if there are any like azelaic acid that I could compare to the ordinary 10% um, suspension but this is the closest one but it is a little bit more pricey you know what I'm saying yes but it should work effective okay yes guys so the next ingredient is retinol a recommendation that I would something that I would recommend uh, as a substitute for the ordinary retinol like the ordinary they have so many retinols I think they have like eight different retinol 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 point one point two point one one point two point five and one percent plus they have different retinoids in squalene and all of that jazz you know what I'm saying but what would I recommend okay as a substitute like for all of these I cannot recommend something for each individual one but what I would say if you are looking into getting retinols or introducing retinol in your skincare routine and you're like confused you don't know which retinol to choose from and all of that and in you just don't want to go through the process of you know researching and all of that and picking out and finding out which one is going to work for your skin or what can work and you know what i'm saying you don't want to go through all of that but you want retinol but you don't want um what do you say no you don't want irritations you don't want to be purging well it depends on your skin too because you can start using it and purge but you don't want irritations and purging and all of that you know what i'm saying i just want something that's going to work a nice retinol derivative that's going to work for your skin and it is supposed to be low when it comes to irritation low irritate what do you say now like little to no irritations type of little to no irritations type of um ingredient the inky list my recommendation why would i recommend it because i'm currently using it i was worried about irritations and this is the reason why i chose like two um retinol one one uh 0.2 percent and 0.5 percent why did i choose them because that's what i want but the thing is i don't want the irritation yeah you know i'm saying i don't want the irritation so i'm like i want something that's not going to irritate my skin but i'm not really sure if this retinol is going to from the ordinary is going to irritate my skin but let me just try something else that is not so you know not so strong and less irritating yeah so this is the reason why i went for the inky list retinol so i've been using it once per week no irritation so far no purging really i don't really see any purging going on so i'm going to recommend it on that basis so it's a good substitute for just somebody that's a newbie and you don't want to go through all of the process of researching and so forth the inky lace is a good um substitute and also it is ten dollars like the ordinary retinol they range from five dollars straight up to ten dollars or twelve dollars i think and the inky lace is ten dollars then there's another one from CeraVe drugstore, all drugstore guys. CeraVe has this resurfacing retinol and they have this renewing daytime retinol. The resurfacing retinol is a PM retinol and it is supposed to work to rejuvenate, regenerate and to give you, um, to take care of your texture and just to gently exfoliate the skin. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of the dead skin and so forth and deal with fine line wrinkling hyperpigmentation you name it okay resurfacing the skin basically but that's a night cream they also have a day cream a retinol regenerating that's what it's called um renewing a retinol a skin renewing renewing retinol all right and that retinol is supposed to be used in the daytime because it has spf in it so i'm guessing it has a retinol derivative that is going to help your skin um, with anti-aging and so forth so it has antioxidants and so forth that can work to actually protect your skin from wrinkling and so forth plus spf so you're getting a your bank for your like what is it now a pack for your punch punch for your pack huh? no no know what that means but you're getting something that is supposed to work to take care of uh, fine line wrinkling. And you know, with the sun, with walking in the sun and daytime and UV rays and all of that, we age. You know what I'm saying? So I guess this is going to protect you from anti-aging. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to protect you from the sun pretty much and protect you from aging. 
pretty much so this one is a daytime cr um, cream or serum or lotion and then the others from the in, uh, from the ordinary PM um, retinol because you have to use retinol in the PM ordinary retinol always PM inky list PM and the CeraVe the resurfacing retinol PM but the renewing retinol skin retinol that's supposed to be in the AM and also has SPF okay so that's a good um substitute if you don't want to go with the retinol from the ordinary and it should work just as good okay yes yeah, so these are my recommendations guys and the last one that i would say is vitamin c now vitamin c i'm not going to give you any substitute for vitamin c because vitamin c is you, there are so many vitamin C serums like you can go on the yes style you can go on Stalvana, you can go on wish strain there are so many vitamin C especially Korean vitamin C that are out there that you can find you just have to still out the product research it for yourself and figure out what you want okay but the, the ordinary day they, they have a wide range of retinols too but you can find many substitutes with like a lot of substitutes with different brands like there are so many substitutes I should say you know what I'm saying so you just have to pick choose and refuse and there are substitutes that actually work well okay because vitamin C is like one of the most like effective ingredient at removing hyperpigmentation and to protect the skin from dark spots and so forth yeah the one at least i think this vitamin c is one of the first um ingredient that we start using when we're talking about hyperpigmentation and so forth the first thing that we see at the, the drugstore is a vitamin c serum something with vitamin c so there are so many vitamin c all over the place you just have to go and Search for the one that you like, research it, and you're good to go. You don't have to go with ordinary, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to name the substitute. I'm just going to tell you that there's so many effective vitamin C out there. You don't have to buy the ordinaries. All right? And yes, that is it for your girl. So many vitamin C. Also, if you want to use my coupon codes, stylebanner, yes, style, I'll leave them in the description. Um, wish trends if you want your serums anything Korean I'll have all the information if you want fashion and so forth I'll have all the information but link will be listed in the description box below so just go and check it out and this is it this is it for me see you in the next video okay Oh, crrr. is that are we still doing that? Oh, crrr. yeah. Oh, crrr. I think that was like 2019 typo. Yeah, but oh, crrr. I like it. All right, this is it for me. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So, see you in the next one. Bye bye. Meepa, yum yum yum. Me pa, jo jo jo. Me pa, jo jo jo. Yum yum yum. That's how I feel whenever I like hear the word retinol. Me pa, jo jo jo. Yum yum yum.